Welcome to the Proform BetFinder overview video. I have BetFinder open and you can see it defaults to today's date and no filters are set. It shows you the total number of runners that are running today which is 191. You can filter a day's races for bets, lays or trades. And within each section you can filter by race, race type and course Proform ratings or simple and advanced filters. To filter to a particular race, we just click on all races and then choose the race time. It will then auto slide back up, and you can see we've just got this one race selected, and we're down to three bets, which is the three runners in the race. The runners are ordered by the proform rating, top to bottom. So Thineville is top rated and you can see our forecast price of 6 to 5 which is based on the rating. You can move to another race by clicking the arrows at the side of the race time. You can go to a past race and click in the arrow on the left. You can filter to all runners at a particular course by clicking on the course name. And there's 59 runners at Plumpton today. Or we can filter by race type and for UK or Irish. So if we just want UK flat, click apply. In this case, that will be all runners at Wolverhampton today, which is 53. If we just want to look at the top rated runners there, we can click on top. And this shows you the top rated or joint top rated in each race at Wolverhampton. We can go back to looking at all races by clicking the race slider, clicking all and applying filters. And there's 21 top rated runners. We can look at the top two rated and the top three rated. Or we can go back to all and see all 191 runners. You can then filter by simple and advanced filters. If you want to just look at all runners that are dropping in class, you can click on the down in class button. And you can see from the number at the side, there's going to be 48 of those. We now have 48 bets highlighted that are down in class. What you will also notice is all of the other filter buttons have now refreshed with the number of remaining bets that are left if you click each one. So if we attach course winners to these down in class runners, we're down to eight runners. And if we then choose trainer in form, we'll move down to just five runners. You can click on any horse on the right hand side to see which particular filters you've selected. And you can see the more detailed stats. So the trainer in form stat was one winner from eight runners, which is a 13% strike rate. The AE figure is an index based on the actual divided by the expected winners. Anything above 1 is better than expected and below 1 worse than expected. So if we look at David O'Mara's current trainer form, he's 5 winners from 15 for a 33% strike rate and an AE figure of 2.6. This means currently his runners are running 160% above expectations. We take David Evans record, he is 3 winners from 21 for 14% strike rate, an AE of 1.4 which represents 40% better than expected. Another way to see the filters you have selected is to click the filter button below and you can see it's got a little red free to signify we have three filters selected. If we click the filter button, the filters slide up from the bottom and they will remain there until you click the filter button again. You can also remove filters in this section by just clicking on the name. Or you can undo your previous filter selections by pressing the undo button. The undo button goes back in time so you can keep pressing it. It removes the filters in the order you added them. Within the browser session you have open you can save a filter. and You can save one filter for each of the sections of bet, lay and trade. 
I've already saved one in this section, which is why this little save icon says archive. So I can load the filter I had saved. I'd saved a filter for course winners, which were down in class, the trainer is in form, and, and they are top on proform ratings and on proform speed figures. You can see this detail if we click on this runner. It's especially useful to save the filter because if you move to the lay or trade section, your filters will be lost. If we move to lay and then back to bets, your filters selected have disappeared, but we can quickly load them back in by clicking archive and load saved filter. So if you went to the layer section, if you are now to set up some layer filters, so if we decide to look at um, the trainer as a, a bad record when they're running an handicap for the first time, there's three of those today. And we can see the record of these by clicking on the horses. We could add more filters in. All three of them are out of form two of these horses were unplaced last time out. So you now might want to save this filter. And you just click on the save button and it saves that filter. So if we go back to bets now, we can load back in our currently saved filter for bets. And if we go back to lay, we can load back in our currently saved lay filter. And the same applies to trade. So we clicked on trade and it resets all the filters again. And you can see there's different buttons on the trade section. So we might be looking for likely back to lay candidates. For horses that the trainer is in form. And there's four of those today. You can see the detailed stats by clicking on the horse. And this is a likely back to lay because it's traded 70% lower in running on 67% of its runs. And the trainer is in form because he's had four winners from 23 runners for a 70% strike rate and an AE of 1.1 which is 10% better than the market expects. We can then save this filter and go back to lay or bet and load our saved filter in as we move through. Let's just reset the filters and choose a race at Wolverhampton so I can explain the rest of the details on the right hand side. The first number is a saddlecloth number. In brackets is the draw on a jumps race, it just wouldn't be there. You've then got the horse's name, our pro form forecast odds based on the pro form rating, the time and venue, the trainer, the jockey, and if the jockey has a claim, how much they are claiming. At any point you can copy the current bets into memory and then you could paste them into another application. Or you can click on print and print out the selections you've chosen. If you had chosen some filters, and when you click print the filters you've chosen will be shown as well. Let's go back to the bet section and reset all our filters. A unique feature of the Proform Bet Finder is the ability to research how filters have worked in the past. So if we set up a simple filter of looking at the top three rated horses on Proform Rating that were winners last time out, you can see today there are nine runners. If we click on yesterday's races, it will show us how many there were yesterday and there was 24 of them but it also shows us where they finished. You can then use the arrows to go back through each day and see how many horses met your filter criteria and how they performed. Let's go back to today and choose trade. And we'll look at horses that are in our top three rated that are likely back to layers. And let's say we'll choose the trainer is in form as well. So today there are four runners that meet these criteria. 
we can choose yesterday and see how many there were yesterday and again there was four runners two of them won and two of them lost but what you can see also is the percentage they went low or high in running and this is shown after the forecast odds so Sandy Mount while winning went 43% higher in running and laser light whilst losing went 78% lower in running than Betfair SP so this allows you to go back through each day to see how a potential trading strategy might have worked Well that's a quick overview of the Proform Bet, Lay and Trade Finder. We'll be creating many more videos looking at each section in more detail.